tonight, this is what we must do. What does it begin to say in Romans 10, verse 9? That if thou shalt confess with thy mouth uh -huh. the Lord Jesus, and shall believe in thine heart that God has raised him from the dead. You confess him with your mouth so it can get into your heart. I believe when you're saved, it's not just one thing. It's not one time you do it. Paul talks about dying every day. I believe you have to continuously confess him. And even when you become a believer, continuously confess him. Because I know that some people don't believe this, but I believe that you can lose your salvation. I've seen people that are saved and they backslide and end up in all types of mess. I've seen people that have known God at one point and then lose touch. Lose touch. You confess him with, his mouth, with your mouth. You confess him with your mouth until it becomes into your heart. And as you're confessing him with your mouth, you're giving him all of you so you can have all of him. Amen. Oh, you can clap about that. Now tonight, I want to ask, because I feel it in my spirit. There's some people, you might know God and you might have heard of God, but you don't have a relationship with Him. You've heard of Him, you worshiped with Him, you've dined with Him. He's even moved for you. But you don't have no relationship with Him. I never forget Christy Roberts when I was around your grandfather. Then he takes me to his house. And he began, he told me, he began to pray for me, and he looked at me and he says, Manasseh, I want you to make a promise. I said, Yes, Dr. Oro. I said, I said, what is it? He says, if you want to be blessed, keep Jesus close. He said, is that simple? He says, don't worry about the finances. Don't worry about any of that. He said, just keep Jesus close. He says, I have kept Jesus close. And that's why he's touched me. Then I began to ask him, I said, Dr. Orr, why have you seen the unbeliever get miracles quicker than the believer? I said, why? He began to say, he touches us because of his grace, but he touches the unbeliever because of his mercy. Tonight, there's some people that would even recommit, but there's some people that need to commit today. You need to become a new creature. You've been dealing with stuff and don't even understand why you're dealing with things. It's like you can't get past certain stuff. I'm telling you what you need. You need Jesus. Those that want to know him in a more intimate way and saying, I'm ready to give him my life. I'm ready to even give him my body. I'm ready to give him my, my, my body, my, my temple. I'm ready to let go of all of the former things. I'm ready to be a changed person. A new woman, a new man in God. If that's you, I want you to lift up your hands and wave to me and say, Prophet, I'm ready. Don't be shy. Say, Prophet, I'm ready. Come on down. Come on. I surrender all. Kimberell, I surrender all. Get past the Kim and Mike. I surrender. 
Look at this. This is amazing. Come on, this is amazing. Clap your hands, people. This is amazing. Get past. Oh, two. You gotta use mine. <laughs> that Savior, I surrender all. Come on, say it again. time everything come on This is what it's all about. This is exactly what it is. I want you to help me lead them to Jesus. It's a great honor. I want everyone to bow their heads. Jesus, fill your lamb. 